All right, hey everybody, want to wheeze them here. It is Sunday, April 4th, 2013, sometime in the afternoon. Uh, if you follow along on uh, Twitter, Google+, I think I posted it on Facebook too. Uh, <clears throat> yesterday was a pretty uh, wild, time-consuming day. Things did not go as planned. Uh, the good thing that came out of it, I found myself uh, in a distant town with a McDonald's, and I went in, and uh, like I said, you know, the first one I hit up, you know, we got four Happy Meals, or four of us in the car, three Drobots, one Crusher, you're not going to get anywhere under that, you know, progression, but uh, essentially, like I said, you know, I tried to purchase a set from there, they wouldn't do it, and, uh, you know, it's kind of one of those deals, you just have to catch an employee and a manager combination that will actually do it, it's something that they do all the time, and the reason they do it is because they make money, they don't give them to you, uh, granted, you know, if your kids are really cute or something, you might wind up with them. But, uh, unfortunately, that was not the case for myself. I had to pay. But, the good news, uh, I have Drobot, as you can see uh, back there. By the way, Chase McCain is hidden. Uh, seemed like a good spot until I turned the camera on and I realized it was horrible. I guess that's because I was bent down when I hit him. But, uh, this is not a McRap. This is actually a uh, bag of eight Skylanders figures. The way these came out, priced, uh, should be the same everywhere. I think they were buck sixty-nine a piece. Uh, my total with tax, granted, that'll vary uh, wherever the heck you live. But it was fourteen sixty-four, so uh, really not too bad. When we got the four Happy Meals the other day, uh, I think the total bill was like fifteen or sixteen. So you do the math. This is the way to go, unless you love the food. Uh, I mentioned in the last video, this one will still be a lot shorter, but uh, and obviously I won't have to cover any of this stuff in the next seven, but I uh, mentioned in the last video, people were probably already scalping these, that was Friday when they first came out, and uh, what I've gotten as far as feedback from people is A, they are indeed scalping them, uh, some, you know, were selling them I think around $4.99, 5 bucks a piece, others were trying to get 20 30 plus for the set, obviously. If you can walk into McDonald's and buy them for $1.69, there's nine of them, you do the math. Uh, you don't need to pay five bucks a piece for them. That said, some people ran into issues where their McDonald's actually don't have them yet, and then some people had an issue where their McDonald's had them and they no longer have them. Uh, that could be, I think Skylanders now is a lot more popular than it was last year, particularly amongst those Happy Meal age. Uh, I know my nephew's friends, uh, last year there was like one or two other people he said at school that kind of even knew anything about it, and this year it's like everyone and their dog is into it. Uh, you know, if you like go pick him up from school, you see the backpacks and t-shirts and stuff, so that makes things interesting. You've got the kids, you've got collectors, uh, then you've got like the treasure hunter eBay pirates, you know, so uh, between those three camps, things get interesting. That's what I was afraid of. You know, I would have tried to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, that said, those McNuggets were about McNasty I had the other day. Uh, did not uh, sit well with me. I'm not one to eat out a lot. Uh, usually in moderation, like, you know, like the, I don't know, once every five months. It's actually not too bad, but that was just like a horrible batch. Uh, everything else was fine. The tea was actually really good, which I was not expecting. But, uh... Like I said, my issue is between, you know, just the odds, you know, of kids getting the toys and Happy Meals, people like myself going in and trying to get them, and then the eBay pirates doing that at every store and using their children, grandchildren, and extended family to acquire the toys and hawk them online. Uh, my issue is if they went really fast, I didn't want to miss out on them, particularly Chaos. In all honesty, if I just had Chaos, I'd probably be happy, but... Uh, this is not a McRap, it's the uh, bag they gave me for all eight of them. And uh, there they are. Obviously we're going to open them one at a time, and then I'll kind of go through and, uh, you know, we'll showcase the whole collection for you. But I think we did Drobots. Uh, i going to find the things. I will say, uh, the store I went into that was super nice. Uh, that was actually a really nice McDonald's too, they'd remodeled it. Uh, they brought out two boxes for me. Both of them were sealed. I don't know if they like given one out or they hadn't started giving them out yet or something. But uh, 
I will say this, I know this may vary region by region. I know several other people in my rough you know, area, and we all seem to get Drobot or Crusher, uh, particularly Drobot. When they opened that box, there was a crud ton of Drobots. I mean, to like dig chaos out, uh, him and Chop Chop seem to be the hardest to come by in the box. Could just be because they're smaller, but I will tell you this, there were a crud ton of Drobots. I mean, they must have had like eight of them on the counter. Uh, seemed to be a lot of tree wrecks and uh, quite a few gill grunts. The rest, uh, all, all I saw is what they pulled out of the box. They did get them all out of one box. Uh, the second one never had to be opened. Uh, I think one box was white with black and the other was white with blue. You know, don't hold me to that. But uh, nonetheless, you know, that helps people out or something. But uh, I think what we will do since we did Drobots... Uh, Let's just do Spyro. Uh, it's kind of interesting they didn't do Trigger Happy, uh, but I guess they went with the dragon theme. But here is Spyro in the packaging. Uh, let's see here. Trying to get you a shot where you can kind of see his name. That's the front side. Back side, nothing much to it. Uh, still, I've not gotten any clarification on the coupons. I know some people may have left comments on the video currently. Uh, this has been an issue for like three or four Sundays. I don't have internet in the middle of the day. And uh, granted, I realize I do most of my stuff at nighttime. But uh, kind of weird to be home and, you know, you can't even get your email checked. So, uh, like I said, somebody could have clarified that for me. I don't know if they have. I'll post it up on the blog. Uh, my apologies there. But... What you get, you saw a Spyro, and it looks like a flame ball. Uh, there's that $10 off coupon. Covered it in extensive detail in the Drobot unboxing. Uh, <clears throat> still don't know what it is. It looks like on this one, much simpler than Drobot, luckily. Uh, you push the fire in, and then it looks like there's going to be a button down on its tail just below the wings that will shoot the fire. So We will come in. Here's a good look at Spyro. That's actually... Again, pretty good detail. I don't know what they used uh, when they like kind of generated the graphics for their Happy Meal website, but I don't think they did them much justice. I uh, don't have Series 2 over here. He's over there, you know, by the uh, Wii, but, you know, just for reference, there's Series 1, the Spyro. Purple is obviously, I mean, this is like a really bright purple. Can't really tell in the camera, but... Uh, in person, it's a glaring difference. This one, like I said, is like really bright and glossy. This one's kind of like more of a, you know, dull with a luster, if that makes any sense. Now, the copper here is, you know, really shiny, has that luster. Uh, here, it's just kind of like a paint. It does have a bit on the wings, though. But uh, <clears throat> what we will do, this is the fireball. Looks like you've got a hollow side. I'm assuming that'll be the bottom. And then uh, right up here, you've got kind of like the top end. So if you note, as usual with the missile projectiles, it's keyed on the top. That matches the slot in his mouth. So we will come in. You simply press back, you'll hear it click. I mean, this stuff is basic. I mean, it goes back to when I was a kid. So uh, interestingly enough, it's a star. I don't know what's up with that. I know on Gilgrunts, so I look through the packaging, it's the water element logo. So... Uh, you know, for whatever reason, they use the star, the magic element logo. Uh, I mean, you could call it a star. I mean, it's kind of more of like the, what, eight-pointed star? This is a five. Maybe it's just like an oversight. But <clears throat> here's Spyro. <clears throat> and let's see here. I will set my aim over here, and we will see what we can do. Okay, well, not much. Uh, missed the intended target, but uh, nonetheless, that is Spyro from the McDonald's Happy Meal Toys. Uh, from the few people I've heard from, I don't think anyone's actually told me they've gotten Spyro. Uh, I think online I might have read that, but I mean, like I said, the boxes, they could vary. You know, some stores, they might be the exact same thing, and they just open different boxes at different times. But uh, I think he looks pretty good. You know, there he is by Drobot. The portals that are stacked, this top one is the SSA 3DS portal. I mean, he fills that thing up. So, uh, again, they're, with the, you know, exception of the Giants, they're actually quite a bit bigger. 
than the uh, Series 1 and Series 2 figures. So that is Spiral from the McDonald's Happy Meal again. Uh, you can either buy the Happy Meal, hope you get lucky. Uh, the store should, provided they have what you want. Uh, say you're like me, you know, and you got Drobot, and then I got another Happy Meal, and got Drobot again and again and again. They should, uh, particularly, you know, if you're like still, you know, in the line as you place your order or in the store, whatever you prefer. Uh, they will usually swap them out for you, you know, maybe like if your store, you know, if it's the only one in your town or others are too far or something along those lines. Uh, say you keep getting Drobot. Uh, they should, like I said, exchange it. They'll ask you what you want. And uh, that's your other option. Uh, but like I said, they do sell them. Uh, my area, I assume it should be nationwide. Buck sixty nine a piece isn't a bad price. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, that's the way I elected to go. That's what I would actually recommend, you know, uh, unless you just enjoy the thrill of the hunt. If that is the case, be forewarned. You know, some of these could be harder to find than others and go quicker. So uh, just keep that in mind. But uh, nonetheless, that is Spyro. I've got seven more to go here. We're going to take care of those. And like I said, that final video will kind of showcase all of them side by side. So uh, thanks for watching. You can follow along on the blog, oneofwisdom.blogspot.com. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. As always, thanks for watching, and we will catch you back here next time.